It's better than Thor 2. Hey guys, this is my review for Captain Marvel. Now, admittedly, I wasn't really keen on seeing this. And it's nothing to do with all that man-hating, woman-hating bar garbage that has been brought up ever since Brie Larson did that interview. She's completely justified in what she said. Everyone who is fucking taking a giant shit on the whole thing is just a goddamn whiner. The movie itself... Honestly, it's a very meh movie, and it's nothing to do with any sort of agenda that's being pushed or anything of that sort. It's actually just kind of boring and by the numbers, at least for half of this film. I've never seen a film try so little for half the film, and then try to be engaging fun and a little surprising for the other half. This film is a giant 50-50 sort of experience. One half, you're gonna get everything that's from predictable to boring to straight up cliched to just not interesting to engaging, funny, uh, visually cool, and honestly a little surprising. This reflects every single aspect of the film, including Brie Larson, who my one roommate basically had a perfect description of her as the first stoned Avenger. Brie Larson either is trying to make a character for half this film or she doesn't seem to give a shit the other half. And it's very odd because you can see she's trying to form her own, but she's taking little tidbits from different characters like the snarkiness of Tony Stark or Doctor Strange and the admirability of Captain America. We have an amalgamation of all these different traits but we don't really see anything that makes her different from any of the other ones aside from her powers. And I don't know, I just honestly, if this is the character who's going to be leading the Avengers after Endgame, I'm not exactly too psyched to be honest. She has nothing that is in any means comparable to Tony Stark. So I'm very interested to see what they're going to do with her character. I really hope that they flesh her out and bring her into her own in Endgame. Jude Law's character, while be it predictable, is actually kind of a cool addition to this film. I will say Ben Middleston. He is actually probably one of the best parts of this film because he is not what you expect at all. And that's all I'll say because he actually does have a surprising role in this film and something that admittedly I was actually quite grateful for. Samuel Jackson is fantastic in this film. His banter with Carol Danvers as well as this cat. <laughs> this cat is a show stealer in this film, to be honest. All the action in this film is not very engaging. Even the flight scenes start and they end before you even know it and there's nothing really letting you breathe they're not really bringing you into these moments or showing you them but they're zipping past them as quickly as possible going to the fight scenes the only one that i can say that was actually really well choreographed and really well shot is the first one which is a training session between jude law and carol danvers no joke that's the best one because all the rest of them are shot like this and it's really bad i actually was impressed at this one point in the film where they're in louisiana they're out in this fill in this bayou and all of a sudden the film just goes on t like goes up 10 levels in terms of cinematography almost terrence malick kind of pretty bullshit sort of uh, cinematography the dialogue that's being said in the scene is completely hammy like very bleh. uh but otherwise i was just like whoa Cinematographer's actually giving a shit here because aside from that every other shot in this film is very basic when it comes to the dialogue or any sort of introduction to the scenes like there's nothing that is creatively done in this film except for this scene in terms of how being shot realistically i don't know captain marvel exactly isn't the most stellar film for me in terms of the marvel universe some people were saying this is one of the best it's definitely not other people were saying that it's one of the worst it is also not that. It is literally in the freaking middle. Um, but possibly towards the latter half, um, or sorry, towards the lower half. I thought it was an okay film, but I'm definitely not gonna go out of my way to ever watch this again. I'd rather watch Age of Ultron again than this, and that's saying something. But it's not a badly put together film by any means. When you can tell that they actually cared about making this movie, you can see it in the work. It's an origin film without being an origin film. It's probably the best way Admittedly, the whole amnesia thing actually isn't really explained that well, and how it works doesn't 
really make sense and there's a few things that if you actually thought about it for a few minutes you could break this film a bit but otherwise it's not a very bad film it's just not a very memorable film it, it's still better than Thor 2 anyways guys I'm gonna give Captain Marvel a 4 out of 7 it's a quality film it's just not from something for me obviously it's been pretty busy for other people but just for me it's an average film that doesn't have much to it but it still is a competently made film and it kind of actually, I'm going to hate to say it, but it subverts expectations, but actually in a good way, unlike Last Jedi. Thanks for watching my review. If you liked it, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.